Good evening. My name is Paula Ann Jackman, and I started the MA Creative Arts in September 2021. And I'm coming from the Bachelor in Arts and Entertainment Management at BCC, actually. So I'm new to the Capel campus and enjoying the journey so far. Hi again. So when I was thinking about it as Salim was speaking, I said, well, that's a really big question because we're a big region and we have big problems. So I said to myself, one of the big problems that I would choose to zero in on is to me, we have an issue with identity. And we would hear persons even say in this locale, oh, Barbados ain't got no culture. And I could see the arts helping with that because through the arts, you can start to discover identity, yours and your fellow man across the region. And even in terms of, I, I think most of the time in terms of business for the creative arts, because that's my background, even though I'm in the arts educator track now, but as I think about how then we market ourselves as a region and, and, and make money from our identity, it helps if we know ourselves and the arts helps with that. It helps us to see our amorphous nature and not pin ourselves or pigeonhole ourselves and helps us to just examine and express our identity. Once joining the program, I have actually gained an affinity for interdisciplinary instruction. So I see arts as central to the program, especially now I know how many different types of learners exist. And why can't we use visual arts to teach religious knowledge? Why can't we use music to teach math or dance to teach health science? Again, Paul said earlier that it, the arts helps things be easier consumed. So why can't we make the art central since we're leaving school and consuming film, animation, and theater and dance and enjoying it much more than we are enjoying the, the pure and applied sciences, et cetera. No offense to the other faculties. <laughs> but if it was central to the other things we're learning, perhaps learning could come easier to us and perhaps teaching for those of us who want to educate could even be a little bit more fun. Well, to add to what my colleagues are saying, I almost see the creative in society as a social worker and the same way how a social worker is there to create access and opportunities for members of society, especially the most vulnerable. So too do artists create bridges across cultural imaginaries and create voice for the voiceless and do it in a way that is so palatable. Some people might not even realize that they are becoming part of a social justice movement by singing this song all the time or humming this, this, this verse all the time. And, and I really support you, Celine, in what you're saying about, about creating a cause as, as, as you create your art. And I feel the same way in terms of business for creatives. For too long, the, the ideal of a starving artist was something that people aspired to. I am saying, no, that you can be an amazing artist and have money on the bank. I hear it so. And I can't wait to graduate the program and do some free workshops. And here is how to do invoices and estimates. And here are apps you can use. We will not be starving <laughs> anymore. Kamal Brathwaite said that it was his eight years in Ghana in which he kind of had an awakening. Um, do you think that the Republic is doing that for artists, Paula? Do you think that suddenly um, we might be beginning to think in different ways about our writing, our poetry, our plays, our songs, our even our dances? Do you think that the Republic is a, a, an awakening for us as artists or is it just business as usual? It's definitely not business as usual. And, and that connects perfectly with what I was thinking in terms of when I was thinking about the role of the artist in the New Republic, because how did we know it was the period of enlightenment when we look back? through recorded history, how did we know it was the industrial era? We know because of what was being done by the artists, the poems 
that were written, what Picasso was drawing, the music that was being written. So in years to come, people will know what was happening at the time of the New Republic because of what Paul's students will be writing in, in on Calypso stages and what Salim's students will be dancing and, and performing from this era when they look back through history. So I don't see it as business as usual. We're each having all of these navigations, as, as my colleagues are saying, of identity and what story are we telling now? Are we still telling the same story in terms of CARICOM reparations and, and reparations in mm -hmm. general? Or is our advocacy now our success? What what do we do next? How do we transform and reform? Is are we looking at a new version of the tuck ban? Are are we how do we get this story to be told to a generation that we cannot get off of a laptop, you know? So I think we really are at a turning point in history and the role of the artist is to record and reflect and agitate for change wonderful wonderful so i was tossing up between <laughs> the four subjects i did last semester because as you said this is my second semester in the program as to where my aha moment occurred because i know there was one but i was wondering exactly where it occurred and i was between theorizing caribbean art and aesthetic because something happened where my level of critical thinking, well, my ability to think critically about culture just shifted. I, I cannot pinpoint exactly where it happened, but it was probably around the time where I realized that I am writing this essay on post-colonial feminist thought <laughs> and examining a local film. And, and previously it was something I would always tell my friends, I dabble in the arts. I, I am not an expert. I am not a classically trained dancer or pianist or anything. I just know I like it and I have things to say. So somewhere in aesthetics and theorizing Caribbean arts, I found my voice and I found where people like me are able to speak. And that was really pivotal for me. And then I would also say it's the level of mentorship. I feel like if I can reach out to any of my tutors, even from last semester, and say, I am thinking about X, Y, Z, or I'm looking at X, Y, Z, and they would respond to me and, and have an, an open discourse with me, even now that last semester is gone. So I would definitely recommend anybody who is in the arts and is not quite sure of their place like me <laughs> to come and give the Emmy Creative Arts a try. And Dr. Weeks knows that in my first week, I was like, well, I'm not a teacher. I am not. That so what am I even doing here? My background is media and marketing, and and I definitely had my aha moment and found my place and space, and it was it was good for my soul really. 